For more on the story, we can bring in uh, Richard uh, Giragosian, a director of the Regional Study Centre in Yerevan. Thank you very much for speaking to us here on France 24. What is going on in Yerevan today? Well, I'm greatly concerned. There is an unprecedented new danger and risk of a potential military coup. The head of the general staff was dismissed by the prime minister earlier today, but another 40 senior officers from the Armenian military have uh, signed on to an open letter demanding the resignation of the government. We are approaching an unprecedented crisis that's threatening the integrity of normally stable civil military relations. And what we see is the prime minister may overreact. And he's calling supporters to gather in the streets with a real risk of deadly confrontation. What did the head of the, the military say that was perceived as an attempted coup? Well, this actually follows a pre-existing serious political crisis related to the uh, unexpected loss of the war with Azerbaijan over Nagorno-Karabakh. The government, however, has generally failed to uh, establish a degree of accountability that has exacerbated the crisis. The military has been driven to make this call for his resignation <clears throat> based on a recent <clears throat> interview by the prime minister, highly critical of Russia <clears throat> and critical of the Armenian military's performance. So this is a political crisis, but now with a dangerous military risk. You said the prime minister risks overreacting. You know, he's called for his supporters to take to the streets of Yerevan today. Will they take to the streets of Yerevan, considering in the aftermath of that conflict with Azerbaijan, his popularity sunk to all-time lows? Well, they already are gathering. And in other words, there is a raising of the temperature, if you will, from what was a deadlocked political crisis. And without moving to an early election to resolve the crisis, there is grave concern. There is, however, no military movement as of yet. And Russia, as the external actor, seems to be backing the government itself. So that's good news for the, for the government. Then they're, they're safe, essentially, is what you're saying, if that the military, there is no movement on the ground. That's the government, yes, but I'm worried that with thousands of his supporters gathering and heeding his call to come out into the streets, the danger of escalation, escalation that cannot be managed by the government, is the real risk going forward.